How many people are actually still playing Battlefield? It's an interesting question, given how we haven't really had any new Battlefield content for a long while, and the way in which Battlefield 5 panned out, a lot of people have taken a hiatus from Battlefield altogether to go and indulge in other games, but there are still plenty of people playing Battlefield titles and doing what they can to get their Battlefield fill. Until the new upcoming Battlefield 6 arrives, that is, which apparently according to the latest leak is simply going to be called Battlefield. So a while ago I shared a useful API put together by a friend of mine called Mr249 and what this API does is it grabs server and player information from the Battlefield games and then compiles it into a readable graph so that we can see the player count for each Battlefield game being tracked live over the days and hours as the player count swings up and down. So here's an older screenshot I took from some months ago, here you can see Battlefield 4, which is the yellow line, and it's peaking on a Sunday with just over 8,500 players. Now that makes sense since the weekends are the time where more people have the most time to play. You can also see Battlefield 3, which is the pink line, with its massive spike in players starting on December 2nd due to the game becoming available on Amazon Prime for free. Now what you might notice is that we're missing a couple of games, notably Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. So luckily an acquaintance of Mr. 249's has also constructed a separate API to pull the server and player numbers from those two games and he has then imported them into his graph and honestly the results are kind of surprising and I wanted to share this with you guys. So here is an example of how the player numbers stack up. At 10 past 8 on a Wednesday evening, we see a peak of activity for all Battlefield games. So we have Battlefield 1 with about 5,500 players, followed by Battlefield 4 with 7,500, and then finally Battlefield 5 with just over 9,500. Now I would say the fact that Battlefield 4 is both well ahead of the player count of Battlefield 1, which came out three years after Battlefield 4 did, um, just about 2,000 players behind Battlefield 5, which came out five years after Battlefield 4 did, and is currently their flagship game, I would say that that is a massive win for Battlefield 4. Now I know what some of you will be thinking, hold on a minute Ghost, what about those two even bigger spikes occurring every day for Battlefield 1 and 5? Well, I'm not really referencing those points in the graph, because I think the other games aren't being tracked properly at those times, or Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 are being tracked too much. As Mr249 told me, maybe we have a situation where one region is going offline and another one is coming online at the same time, and they're sort of combining together to make it look like there is a bigger amount of people playing than there actually is. It makes no sense that Battlefield 1 and 5 would have huge spikes at that time, but all the other Battlefield games show literally no change in activity at all. So why is this information important to you guys? Well, I think this says a lot about what the player base wants to see. DICE obviously has access to these numbers internally in their studio, so I'm sure they're well aware that the older dedicated Battlefield player base are tending to flock to the old titles to get their Battlefield fix. Honestly, I think one of the only reasons that Battlefield 5 is currently on top in player numbers is simply because it's the newest game. Say you're a brand new Battlefield player who has never picked up a Battlefield title before, you don't know anything about the mechanics of the game, but you know, you want to give it a try. Seriously, which one are you going to buy? Of course, the newest one, right? The latest and greatest with the best graphics. So I think to a certain extent, Battlefield 5's player numbers are greatly boosted by those new players coming into the franchise and simply starting off with the newest title. All in all, whichever Battlefield game you play, it makes me happy to see that I'm not the only one still enjoying Battlefield and looking forward to the next title. There is solid proof here that we still have a dedicated player base that's held on through thick and thin, and I find that quite humbling, really. Hopefully the Battlefield 6 news is just around the corner, I'm sure you guys heard about the leak the other day which pretty much just further confirms what we've been talking about for months now, 128 player servers, it'll apparently largely be like Battlefield 3 which is in my mind basically just saying it's going to be modern, 
Now the new and interesting bit though is that apparently DICE are concentrating on the PC and new generation console versions and they're offloading the work on the older gen consoles onto another company, which I think is a pretty smart move. A while ago in a video, I said that Battlefield 3 would most likely be on PC and next gen consoles only. After all, the next gen consoles will have been around for about a year when Battlefield 6 finally releases, most likely this October, and I think that was DICE's original plan. But since barely any of us can actually get our hands on a next gen console thus far, I think they've gone and done an about turn and realised that there will still be a vast majority of players on last gen when Battlefield 6 releases. So there you go guys, I thought I would just share this with you, some interesting information if you like numbers and stuff like me. Thank you guys for watching the video today, I appreciate the support massively. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Battlefield content. Have a good day guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.